Congratulations on taking the next step towards making your detailing, tinting, or wrap business efficient, streamlined, and optimized so that you can have the greatest success ever. Now, let's dive in. So the first thing you're going to see when you log into your Orbis uh, account uh, is going to be the initial setup wizard. This helps you set up a few key things so that uh, basically the system can start working with your business. Uh, so the first thing is you need to decide if you're doing mobile appointments or if you have a shop. Obviously, that's a clear one because if you have a shop, you have a shop. But uh, some shops do mobile appointments as well as appointments at their shop, kind of like our shop does uh, here in Canada. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is choose whether or not you are. So if you are offering mobile appointments, enable that option because it's going to give you different options on your, your booking forms, your calendars, things like that, uh, that all have to do with addresses and mobile appointments uh, for your customers. Next thing you're going to want to do is set your daily goal. Uh, this is really important. A lot of businesses don't have a daily goal or they haven't really put much thought into it. They just, you know, start selling, start providing services and they just go, go, go. Well, it's important to have a daily goal. And then as your business grows, you should be increasing this daily goal so that it gives you more metrics uh, that you can work towards. So setting an initial daily goal of, let's say, $500, that's going to change things on your calendar that I'll show you uh, in an, uh, later in this video. And it's going to help you to determine what days need to be booked up more with appointments versus days where you've already hit your daily goal. You're going to see that in one snapshot on the calendar. Then decide how many days you're open for. Uh, so our shop, for example, is open six days a week. We're closed on Sundays. Uh, that might vary depending on your you know, schedule and so on and so forth. Uh, then if you have a physical location, put in your address so that people can actually uh, come there. Uh, now this is a Google Maps link and so you can basically just go to uh, Google Maps, find your uh, location, copy the URL that's in the browser and paste it here. Or if you enter uh, under admin settings and options, if you enter your address there, it'll automatically populate your uh, Google Maps link as well. Uh, so I'll show you that option later too. If you are doing only mobile appointments, you can simply erase this and then it's not going to offer any address for customers to see in the text messages. Uh, next. This here is your Google review link. So once you uh, to get Google reviews, you need a Google business page. So set up your Google business page and then your link is going to look uh, something like this. So it's going to have G dot page slash whatever. All that stuff is set by Google. And then you're going to have your Google page name that goes in here and then slash review. We can uh, cover this in another video, of course, um, to get that going, or you can always message our support and uh, we'll gladly help you get that set up because Google reviews are really important to your business and this system is so powerful, it will automatically message your customers once a job is marked complete and it'll ask them for a Google review with a thumbs up, thumbs down. If they do thumbs up, it goes to a web form that sends you the information and not to your Google review page. If they give thumbs up, it takes them to the Google review page where they can leave you a positive review. Next, do you want to automate appointment confirmations? Most likely you do. This is going to automatically follow up with customers before their appointment, confirming the appointment. And, you know, if something's come up, they can click cancel. And that's where the real magic happens, because in the Orbis X system, you can actually set a second chance cancellation offer. So let's say uh, someone's booked in for a detailing and they say, oh, geez, I can't make it. They click cancel. If you have a second chance offer set, which is done under your admin and settings uh, when you set your uh, services that you add, um, you could say, you know, sorry to see you want to cancel, keep your appointment and we'll take 10% off the bill. If they say sure and they keep their appointment, which is great, then it's going to put that in the notes under the, the appointment in your calendar saying, you know, uh, this customer was going to cancel, but they decided to keep it and they took the cancellation offer. So they're getting 10% off, uh, whatever the offer happens to be that you make. Next, do you want to automate no show follow ups? So essentially, if someone doesn't show up for an appointment, it's going to send them a text message and an email and it's going to say, hey, listen, we understand things happen. You get busy, um, but uh, click here to rebook an appointment, um, you know, at a later date. So it's a way of following up on customers that didn't show up for appointments so that you can book them again uh, later. The whole system is built on keeping customers booking appointments. Then you're going to want to set your time zone. Uh, so our shop, for example, is Eastern time in Canada. Um, this is important so that when you get reports every night or when, you know, text messages go out to people, it's following your particular time zone. Then you're going to want to upload your logo up here. 
you can set your primary currency. The system's capable of handling multiple currencies. Uh, some you know, customers had requested that, uh, so the system is capable of billing in multiple currencies depending on where you are. Um, in most cases, a lot of our clients are using United States dollars, so it defaults there. Um, so you can set that as well as uh, this here is the exchange rate. So you can leave that alone um, or you can uh, set it to what your particular currency happens to be. Then you can add your local tax rate. You can give it a name. So, you know, a lot of cases you'll just write local tax, something like that. And then you'll put your percentage. So let's say it's 8.25, let's say. So we put that in. Now, the last and final step for the initial setup is to add some services. This is the easy part. So these are things that you're actually offering. Um, interior, detailing, exterior, detailing, full, uh, tinting, windows, ceramic coating. So this is where you'll put in whatever services that you offer at your particular business. And once you're all done that, you're just going to click save and exit. And then that's going to complete the initial setup and you're ready to go and start using the system.